Hey guys, what's up? By Cyclotron here from Clash of Clans Manual. Here with my next video, and it's another Clash 101 video. And I also actually made a video on this before on the old jump spell mechanics. So if I'm not going to cover everything again, so I recommend if you haven't already, go back. Um, I don't know, it's probably about two months ago. Uh, just go down my video feed, you'll see it pretty quickly. Uh, Clash 101 jump spells, because that one. Uh, covers a lot of the stuff that I'm not going to cover. I'm basically talking about the update and how it changed, uh, how the jump spell works in some parts of it, but not in all of it. So check out that last video uh, for most of the basics on the jump spell. But the earthquake uh, spell, the one, the update when that was added, along with the other two dark spells, um, and then the new leagues. That that update, uh, it also changed the jump spells. They didn't say anything about it, but it happened. So we're going to take a look at how the jump spell was changed in that update because some of you might not have noticed it. So for those of you who are Town Hall 9 or Town Hall 10 using the jump spell, uh, you know that basically you can get, get over a 3x3. Three three. Well, we'll start with this. With the old jump spell, um, it had to extend basically like this. There had to be basically, it had to reach over at one tile. So the tile uh, right here it had to be covering that so troops could walk into it uh, before they jumped over the wall. If it only extended uh, to the wall right here, if it just covered the wall, they couldn't use it because they could not get inside the spell without going over the wall and they can't go over the wall till they're in the spell. But the new update basically made it so wherever the jump spell is on top of, it's almost like the walls disappear that are there. So basically if your spell only reaches like that, your troops will take the jump spell. Um, they'll just go over and hop over the wall. It, they effectively made it so it's like, like I said, wherever the jump spell touches, any walls there basically disappear. So all you have to do is get like the lip of your jump spell to touch one of those walls, and your troops can use it. So you can be way more aggressive with it and hop over way more walls. So, I, you know, as you know, you can go over uh, three tiles in between two walls. You can go over both of those walls. Uh, even with the old jump spell, you could still go over four. Uh, five used to be hard. Now it's actually pretty easy. Just put your spell kind of in the middle, and even if the it only touches that wall, that's fine. Uh, the jump spell will still have effect. The jump spell has a radius of seven tiles, and uh, that's pretty easy. I think it, uh, this is even too small. It's bigger than that. Uh, the real challenge is getting over six tiles in between two walls. Um, for this one, you're probably going to have to err a little bit uh, towards the first wall just so your jump spell touches it and then it probably won't quite reach all the way back but like a rage or a haste spell your troops have the jump ability for about a second or two after they leave the jump spell so if they're going directly on through they should be able to get over uh, six tiles in between two walls now if they're going off to the side and then they come back it might be, bo might be more of a problem because um, they won't have the effect on them. Basically, they have to be inside the jump spell to have the effect, and if they leave it and go off to the side, they'll lose that jump spell effect, and a, the jump spell doesn't extend far enough for them to hop over the wall, so they'll pretend like it's not there. Uh, so, it's a little bit tricky for six tiles, basically, but if your troops have a direct shot, if uh, they, they're they going to take out you know these cannons, if they're here, and they're going to jump over the wall right away, uh, it's worth it. If they go off to the side, they might not come back and use it, just because it technically doesn't extend over that last wall. So be a little bit careful with uh, six tiles in between. Typically, you just want to, maybe if you can, use some wall breakers, then drop the jump over here. But you can try it. It's a little bit risky, but I think it still can work uh, at six tiles in between. That's two uh, normal defenses, like two cannons in between uh, those two sets of walls. But anyway, we're going to take a look at this one because this is a little bit different. There's five tiles in between, but we want to start at the black uh, bomb and get to the, where the red bomb is. So we're also going diagonal a little bit, but you can make this jump. It's also a little bit tricky, so it is risky again. But if you drop your jump uh, basically right there, uh, it'll extend to this wall and then touch this wall in the back. And because, um, I'll erase the spell for a second, because this wall is touched by the jump, your troops can take that and go through to any of these compartments, uh, assuming they go into one of these at some point, uh, and eventually uh, 
one of the, yeah one of these compartments and then if it touches this wall too which it can uh, because there's only five uh, tiles in between them it, or yeah five tiles in between them uh, that wall effectively disappears so they can make their way out into this so if there is the the um I'll clear this out of the way for a second if there is the five tiles plus one to the side like you're going diagonal uh, it can be done just drop the jump right in the middle and it will hit both those uh, intersections and allow your troops to go through so that does work and also just a straight diagonal shot of a four by four in the middle uh, you can do it just drop the jump right in the middle it'll hit that it'll come around hit that both intersections are down the troops can move through so uh, it can be a lot more aggressive with the new jump spell. That's basically it for what I'm going to show you guys. Once again, check out my old jump spell video because a lot of the properties uh, still affect it. Just keep in mind that uh, troops can use the spell if it is touching the wall next to them. So basically anything in the radius of a jump spell, any wall is basically erased like an earthquake spell, except they're still there, but they're not effective anymore. So... Uh, keep that in mind. Hope this helps. Hope you guys can be more aggressive with your jump spells because a lot of YouTubers say you can't even hop by a 4x4, four four, which is uh, or a 4 space, which is completely ridiculous. You can go uh, up to 6 if you get lucky, but easily can do 5 right here. So keep that in mind. Be aggressive, and you'll get more out of your spells if you do that. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.